Hey there, shooters, casters, James here. Hey, got an update on my machining of the Lee 309 230 mold. I made a previous video saying what I was going to do. I went outside a little bit ago and did it. What I did was made these bullets here. I cut off the boat tail just to see what length and what weight they turn out to be. <clears throat> and I took the calculations from that and I machined off that much off of the top of this mold. If you look, no more boat tail. If I put this in here, this is a full size one I cast with it before I machined it all off. You can see how much I machined off the top of that mold. Now there is no low tail on the 230 mold, 230 grain mold. And it came out pretty darn good, I think, for doing it out outside in front of my garage with a, probably a 30 year old router and a Chinese one inch cutter. It's a Chowak Wong, quarter inch shank diameter, one inch cutter diameter, cut, cut length, one quarter inch. But that worked great. That, I was taking off 20 thousands passes on the top of this. Of course, it's all aluminum, but it went through that with a 20 thousands paths, path, pass, there we go, pass. 20,000s pass, it was like butter. I mean, it would just up one side, back down the other side, and reset for a deeper cut. Came out really nice. I just need to do a little sanding on it just to, you know, make it look pretty pretty, but this is freshly off of the off of the homemade machine. Milling machine. Yeah. Which is this <laughs> anyway now I can uh, test out 125 grain zinc bullets made from this or a 200 grain lead bullet without a boat tail so that's my update thanks for watching bye